Hello students, welcome to grade 10 chemistry class and the topic which we are continuing is periodic classification of elements session 3 part 3. So here in the previous class you have learned that Moseley's periodic table has given us the complete set of arrangement for which the elements can be arranged completely in this periodic table and this is known as modern periodic table and mostly periodic table as per this table this states that the modern periodic law states that the properties of the elements are the periodic functions of their atomic numbers so basing on the atomic number this modern periodic law and the modern periodic table is framed <coughs> so here the modern periodic law states that properties of the elements are the periodic functions of their atomic numbers so here this law states that the property of the elements which is taken as the basis are that it is the property is a periodic function which which repeats is a periodic function and that function which repeats is that their atomic number so here the properties of the elements are the periodic functions of their atomic number is the modern periodic law. So as per this there are 18 groups and 7 periods. So here you must have remembered that in the previous class we have learned that the vertical columns are known as groups and here you can see that there are 18 groups. First group, second group, third, fourth, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, so on till 18 groups you can see. And the horizontal rows are known as periods. So here this is horizontal and these are known as periods. And you can see that there are 7 periods. First period, hydrogen and helium are present. And in the second period from lithium to neon. This is the third period, fourth period, 5, 6, 7 period which is incomplete period. Okay. Now let's see how the electronic configuration of these elements can be written. Okay. So here before starting into the electronic configuration, you should remember that the electronic configuration is written basing on the atomic number of the element Z. The atomic number is represented by the letter Z. And starting with the first element that is hydrogen, whose atomic number is 1. Its electronic configuration is 1s1 because an atom can accommodate electrons in its orbital which is having least n plus l value according to Aufbau principle. <coughs> so here an atom can have orbitals in it and 1s is the least orbital which whose n plus l value is least. Least energy level is 1s and then next is 2s, 2p, 3s, 3p, 4s, 3d and so on. So let's see the electronic configuration of other elements. Remember that the energy levels sequence is 1s, next 2s, then 2p, then 3s, 3p, 4s, 3d. Okay. Now let's see the electronic configuration of the next element after hydrogen. It is Helium atomic number is 2 and its electronic configuration is 1s2 and these two electrons are present in the first orbit of s orbital. Here you can see that there are two electrons. One is moving in a clockwise direction and the other one in the anti-clockwise direction. The next is lithium whose atomic number is 3 and its electronic configuration is 1s2 2s1. So here you can see that there are two electrons in 1s and one electron in the 2s orbital. The next beryllium atomic number 4 electronic configuration 1s2, 2s2. So here two electrons in 1s and the other two electrons in the 2s orbital. The next boron with atomic number 5 and its electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p1. So here you can see them. Two electrons in 1s, in 2s and then 2p1. 
one electron. The next carbon atomic number six and the electronic configuration one s two, two s two, two p two. The next nitrogen atomic number seven electronic configuration one s two, two s two, two p three. And here you can see the presence of electron in first orbit s orbital two electrons and in the second orbit s orbital and p orbital both are present and s orbital is completely filled p orbital is half filled so here nitrogen is stable when compared with carbon because it is half filled the p orbital is half filled the next is oxygen atomic number 8 and electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 2p4 that is two electrons in 1s two electrons in 2s and two electrons in 2p z 2py and 2px the next is fluorine atomic number 9 and electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 2p5 and the next neon atomic number 10 electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 2p6 so here when you see the representation of the electrons you can see that in 1s orbital two electrons are filled so first orbital is completely filled and in second orbit s and p orbitals are also completely filled so this atom is more stable than the other elements so here even helium which has first orbit and the first orbital is completely filled in it so even helium is also more stable so the atoms with completely filled orbitals or half filled orbitals are stable children you must remember to note down the points which are discussing now the points which you are learning and the concepts which you are getting in this chapters are very important for your further studies also so here the electronic configuration of the elements how it has to be written is basing on the atomic number first and then remember the sequence of the orbitals that is 1s 2s 2p 3s 3p 4s 3d and so on okay are you clear till here now let's see the next one so here electronic configurations of the elements how it has to be written you have learned now if you see the electronic configuration of the elements in the previous slide we have seen the atomic number of 1 to 10 elements and their electronic configuration now if you see the electronic configurations of the elements with atomic number 11 that is sodium it is 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s1 just if you move ahead it is other element it that is chlorine atomic number 17 and its electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p5 and k that is atomic number 19 it is potassium electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 4s1 and this is scandium atomic number 21 and its electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 4s2 3d1 so you have to remember the sequence of the orbitals and then how to fill the electrons in them is add the number of electrons for example atomic number 21 so add the number of electrons present in 1s that is 2 next plus 2 2 plus 2 4 4 plus 6 10 plus 2 12 12 plus 6 18 18 plus 2 20 20 plus 1 21 okay so you can write a the first the atomic number of the element for example if you are writing the atomic number of the element iron that is ferrum whose atomic number is 26 first write the sequence of the orbitals that is 1s 2s 2p 3s 3p 4s and 3d then write the number of electrons to its power like s orbital can have two electrons it is 
first orbit or second orbit s can have only two electrons so for 2s also you have to write 2 then p can have six electrons so here 2p 6 then 3s 2 so with this you have completed 12 electrons so you can move ahead still since there are 26 electrons so moving on to 3p p orbital can accommodate six electrons so write six here and then 4s two electrons so here with this you have completed 20 electrons and here a number of electrons present in iron are 26 so 3d can have six electrons it can accommodate actually 10 electrons in it but the available electrons are only six after 20 so it can have only six electrons so in this way you can write the electronic configuration of the element see the point here note that all the numbers in the electronic configuration add up to the atomic number for that element that's what we have done for while counting the electronic configuration of scandium or iron so it's the same for any element when you are writing the electronic configuration okay remember that when you add up the number of electrons it gives us the atomic number of the element then the thing which you have to remember the point which you have to remember is when you look at the previous slide and observe the electronic configuration of hydrogen lithium sodium and potassium few elements when you observe the electronic configuration you can notice that there is similarity in them now let's see what is the similarity and basing on that the naming of the groups is done that is hydrogen lithium sodium potassium all are under group 1a so they have a similar ending that is s1 now let's see in detail what it is so here when you take the elements of first group group 1 here you can see that the elements present in the first group are hydrogen lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium and francium now when you write the electronic configuration of them hydrogen atomic number is 1 so its electronic configuration is 1 whereas lithium electronic configuration is 1s2 2s1 because its atomic number is 3 so here the electronic configuration is 1s2 2s1 now, whereas the next element sodium that is natrium whose atomic number is 11 and its electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s1 the next element is potassium whose atomic number is 19 and electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 4s1 so when you write in the same way for rubidium its electronic configuration will be 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 4s1 3d10 5s1 so it goes on for the other elements of cesium and francium also so here the similarity what is can be observed in these electronic configuration is here the first element of 1a group is having the outermost electronic configuration 1s1 and its next element 2s1 its next element is having 3s1 as an outermost electronic configuration then next 4s1 then next element 5s1 then 6s1 7s1 so here the common similarity or the which is observed in this group of elements is that their outermost electronic configuration is ns1 generalize when we generalize the outermost electronic configuration of these elements in one year group the outermost electronic configuration of all these elements is ns1 that is the first element is having 1s1 second element 2s1 third element 3s1 fourth element 4s1 fifth element 5s1 sixth element 6s1 seventh element 7s1 so this is the similarity in their configuration that was observed in the one year group of elements okay are you clear so this similar configuration causes them to behave the same 
chemically. Since they have the outermost electronic configuration similar, even the chemical behavior of them is also similar. Due to this reason, they are placed under the same family or in the same group in the periodic table. Each group will have the same ending as you have seen, like if it is a first group, NS1. Second group, NS2 it will have. Okay. In this case, something that is which is ending is S1. That is an NS1. Okay. Now, let's see the next group. Now, the elements within a given family, they will have similar configuration as you have seen for the 1A group. The same way, group 2A elements will have the same or the outermost electronic configuration of them is same. For example, the elements present in the second group, 2A group are beryllium, magnesium, calcium, strontium, barium, radium. Now, when you write the electronic configuration of them, the first element is beryllium, whose atomic number is 4, and the electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2. The next element, magnesium, with atomic number 12, and electronic configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2. Then, calcium, atomic number 20, electronic configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2. So here in these elements, when you observe, outermost electronic configuration of them is S2. It may be 2s2 for beryllium, 3s2 for magnesium, 4s2 for calcium and 5s2 for strontium, 6s2 for barium and 7s2 for radium, whatever it may be. The outermost electronic configuration of group 2a elements is S2. Uh, and when you generalize, it can be written as the outermost electronic configuration of second group of elements is NS2. Remember that. What is the valence electronic configuration of 2A group of elements? It is NS2. Whereas 1A group is 1S, NS1. Okay. So, basing on the valency of the elements, they are placed under the group of elements. And one more point which is given here is the group 2A elements are sometimes called the alkaline earth metals. Why they are called as alkaline earth metals we will be discussing further in this session now. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Now here, the another last group of element that is eighth group of element. The elements present in this group are helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon and radon. Now when you write the electronic configuration of them, Helium atomic number 2, electronic configuration 1s2. Neon atomic number 10 and electronic configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. So when you add the number of electrons, it is equal to 10. Similarly, uh, electronic configuration of organ is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6. Its atomic number is 18. The same way krypton electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 3d10, 4s2, 4p6. So here the outermost electronic configuration of these elements except helium. The other elements is 2s2, 2p6 for the uh, neon and next 3s2, 3p6, the next 4s2, 4p6. So when you generalize the outermost electronic configuration of this group of element that is eighth group of element is ns2 and p6 which means that the s orbital is completely filled and even the p orbital is completely filled so these atoms or these elements are more stable and due to this reason they are known as noble gases or inert gases so here the outermost electronic configuration of noble gases is NS2, NP6. Okay, clear? Shall we move on to the next one? Have you written down? Note down that the valence electronic configuration of 8th group of elements is NS2, NP6. And this 8th group of elements are known as noble gases or inert gases. 
the reasons for naming these elements as noble or inert gases we will be discussing further so here is the table with the group of elements and their names with their electronic valence electronic configuration starting with one year group now before we complete this naming of these groups you should know that the group of elements which we are discussing where they are present and the name of them with their valence electronic configuration okay so here first group of elements are known as one year group and the name of this group of elements is alkali metal family why they are known as alkali metal family is generally the elements in one year group are metals and the compounds when they dissolve sorry the compounds that are formed when they dissolve in water are generally basic in nature so there it is alkali in nature <coughs> due to this reason they are known as alkali metal family and the valence electronic configuration is ns1 the next is 2a group 2a group of elements are present on the left side of the periodic table and these elements are known as alkali earth metal family so here the elements in the 2a group are also metals and they are also alkali in nature but the difference from 1a group of elements is that the compounds when are formed that are formed when they react with oxygen are generally oxides but these oxides are formed in the earth's crust due to this reason they are known as alkali earth metal family okay and the valence electronic configuration of them is ns2 okay the next third year group of elements are known as boron family because it starts with the element boron and the electronic valence electronic configuration is ns2 np1 the next fourth year group of elements known as carbon family and valence electronic configuration is ns2 np2 the next is fifth year group of elements nitrogen family which are known as ns2 np3 so here if you observe one year and two year group of elements are present in the left side of the periodic table and from third year to eighth year they are present on the right side of the periodic table in between 2a and 3a b group of elements are present so from 3a to 8a element group of elements are present on the right side of the periodic table okay the next and the point which you have to remember from 3a group of elements p block elements are getting accommodated they are accommodating the electrons in them so here boron family valence electronic configuration is ns2 np1 carbon family electronic configuration is ns2 np2 nitrogen family valence electronic configuration is ns2 np3 okay the next is sixth year group of elements which are known as oxygen family or chalcogen family now the reason why they are known as chalcogens is here generally chalco means chalcogenous products means the products which are formed from their ores so here all these elements are extracted generally from their ores so the product can be extracted from their ores and hence they are known as chalcogen family and the valence electronic configuration of them is ns2 np4 the next is halogen family halogen family is seven year group of elements what are halogen family halos means these are salts which are generally present from the c so they are known as c salts so here halogenous means the products which are formed by the c salts they are known as halogenous products so as most of the elements in seven year group are obtained from nature as c salts they are known as halogen family okay the next is noble gas family that is eighth year group of elements why they are known as noble gases these group of elements are 
completely filled and means the orbitals of them are completely filled. The valence electronic configuration is ns2 and p6. Since they are completely filled orbitals possessed in them, they are chemically inert means they do not react with the other elements easily. So they are chemically least active elements and hence they are known as noble gases or inert gases which are inert to react. They are known as inert gases and their outermost shell electronic configuration is ns2 np6. So when you add the valence electronic configuration 2 plus 6 8 which is oct means octet configuration. So here when you are asked to answer which group of elements are having octet configuration means noble gas family or inert gas family possess octet configuration. Okay. Now once again I want to repeat the group of elements with their names of family. One year group of elements present on the left side are known as alkali metal family and these are generally formed by ashes of plants so they are known as alkali metal family because alkali means plant ashes so here these metals are formed by the ashes so they are known as alkali metal family then two a group of elements present on the left side are known as alkali earth metal family because the oxides of them can be formed only on the earth's crust so they are known as alkali earth metal family the next 3a to 8a are present on the right side of the periodic table third a group of elements are known as boron family so here the starting element of the third a is boron and hence they are known as boron family the same way fourth a group of elements are known as carbon family fifth a group of elements nitrogen family sixth a group of elements are known as oxygen family or chalcogen family because the compounds are chalcogenous means they are ore products the products obtained from ores so they are known as chalcogen family the next is seventh a group of elements known as halogen family means the compounds which are formed from sea salt they are known as halogens so seventh year group of elements is halogen family the next is eighth year group of elements known as noble gas family so here since these elements of eighth year are chemically least active they are known as noble gases they are chemically inert to react so they are known as inert gases okay now if you observe why these elements are named as 1a, 2a so on is when you observe the electronic valence electronic configuration of them it is 1. So these elements are known as 1a group. The next alkaline earth metals have valence electronic configuration it is 2. So they are known as 2a group of elements. Then boron family valence electronic configuration is 3. So boron family belongs to third year group of elements. Then the valence electronic configuration of fourth year is 4. Of fifth year is 5. You can cross check. Similarly, valence, uh, valence electronic configuration of sixth year group is 6. 2 plus 4, 6. Seventh year group of elements it should be 7. 2 plus 5. Similarly, eighth year group of elements is 8. 2 plus 6, 8. Okay. Now let's see. So this is the periodic table as we have discussed in the previous slides. So here there are 18 groups and one year group of elements. What are they called as? Alkali metals or alkali metal family. Then two year group of elements. Alkali earth metal family. Then next is third year group of elements starting with boron, boron family. Fourth year group, carbon family. 5th year group nitrogen family then this starting with oxygen oxygen family or chalcogen family the next is halogens starting with fluorine it is since they are halogenous they are known as 
halogen family or halogens they can be called as halogens the next eighth year group of elements are inert or noble gases so you can observe that third year to eighth year group of elements are present on the right side of the periodic table one year and two year are on the left side in between them the group of elements are third b2 sorry 2b2 8b are present here and lanthanoids and actinoids are present under them the next so depending on which the subshell the differentiating electron enters in the atom of the given element the elements are classified as s p d f block elements so here till the previous slide you have observed that depending on the valency the group number is allotted so not only the different uh, valence electronic configuration is giving the name of the group of the element now the differentiating electron means when you observe the valence electronic configuration of them the differentiating electron which enters into a atom of a given element can classify the group of the element as s p d or f block elements for example sodium gets its new differentiating electron into 3s orbital so sodium is s block element similarly aluminum is getting new differentiating electron in the p block element so aluminum is a p block element similarly scandium is getting the d block element d block electron so it is known as d block element and cesium sorry cerium is getting f block element as its differentiating electron and it is known as f block element so here you must notice that the differentiating electron into which it enters can classify the group of elements as s p d or f block element suppose if the differentiating electron is entering into s block then those elements are known as s block elements that's what you have seen on the left side of the periodic table and if suppose the electron is entering into the p block element then those elements are known as p block elements similarly d and f block elements now let's see in detail so the configurations and the periodic table so here you can see that these elements 1s the first group one year group of elements have the differentiating electron in s orbital in the 1s orbital so here the second group of elements have the differentiating electron in the s orbital it may be 2s 3s 4s or so on but the differentiating electron is entering into s orbital and hence these group of elements one year group and two year group of elements are known as s block elements have you got it so here the differentiating electrons of one year group and two year group is entering into s orbital the differentiating electron means the outermost electron is entering into s orbital and hence these group of elements are known as s block elements similarly if you observe here third year to eighth year all these elements have valence electronic electron valence electron in p orbital so they are known as p block elements and in between them d block elements are present which means that the valence electron is entering into the d block and under them f block elements are present so these elements are known as f block elements which means that the valence electron is entering into the f block element so they are known as f block elements okay s block elements are on the left side p block elements on the right side in between them d block elements under them f block elements are present okay next so here when you observe the groups of elements 18 groups are present so one year and two year together s block elements 
and 3a to 8a are known as p block elements in between them d block elements are present and this d block elements are known as transition elements remember that d block elements are known as transition elements s block elements are on the left side p block elements on the right side s and p block elements together they are known as representative elements remember s and p together representative elements in between them d block elements are present which are known as transition elements and under d block elements f block elements are present and they are known as inner transition elements okay just repeat after me the presence of blocks of elements s block left side s block left side p block right side d block between s and p and f block under d okay now once again s block elements left p block elements right s and p block together they are known as representative elements d block elements in between s and p which are known as transition elements then next f block elements under d are present and they are known as inner transition elements so with this we have categorized or classified the group of elements into four blocks as s p d and f okay now in the next session we are going to learn about the tendencies or the properties periodic properties which are going to change according to the group and in a period how they are going to change but before you attend the class see that you go through this class once again and note down the points okay stay safe stay healthy